So this year's Autodesk University class, I'm going to be teaching a motion builder introduction class. So this is really sort of a 101, how to do motion capture using Autodesk products. And in the class, we're going to talk about the various different types of input devices that you can use to get data into motion builder. So stuff from the very low end, you know, stuff based on gaming technology from Xbox or PlayStation 3, all the way up to the highest end optical systems. And during the actual class, we'll have the XSENS guys come out with one of their suits and we'll be using that suit to actually drive live data in the session. And the thing that's really cool about the XN suit is it has extremely quick setup time, which you'll actually see at the Autodesk uh, show because we, we obviously need to get in and out of that room pretty quickly. And the other thing that's really cool about it is it doesn't need a volume to be calculated to work because it's all based on airbag sensor technology. So it's a really cool, different way of doing motion capture data. And we'll have that in, in the classroom to sort of help us go through the basics of how Motion Builder works. So in the Motion Builder portion, we'll cover off what human IK is, how that's really the foundation technology that we're going to be using to help us compensate for differences in skeleton size and things like that. And we'll do a couple of things that are a little bit different with Motion Builder, like maybe using it to do some ergonomic studies and more of a design scenario. So it should be a pretty fun class. Hopefully some of you guys that are attending Autodesk University will sign up for it and come check it out. If you're interested in motion capture, this will give you a good introduction to what doing motion capture with Motion Builder is all about.